Hey y'all, good afternoon. Come on in. It's time to cook a little bit of dinner. Okay, so tonight, again, short and sweet, I uh, had some mushrooms and some spinach that I need to go ahead and cook. I had purchased me a uh, rotisserie chicken. I was just going to do a chicken sandwich, but now I'm going to do some sh um, spinach with it and some mushrooms because I needed to get these out of the fridge. Remember, we're still going into the fridge cooking stuff that we already have. So, what I'm going to do first is saute my uh, mushrooms and then I'll put, throw the spinach in there after the mushrooms are done and I will saute my spinach, excuse me, spinach and onions together. Hope y'all are having a God bless uh, Wednesday. We're getting ready to get uh, to have some weather here. I think tomorrow, starting tonight or tomorrow sometime. But uh, anyway, we're praying, I'm praying anyway that that weather's gonna pass us by and it's gonna keep right on moving in the other direction or that it never even gets here. Okay, first off, I've got a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan. I'm just gonna add some, um, a couple tablespoons of uh, smart start in there. That'll be my butter to give it that buttery taste. So I've heated the oil up pretty much, but you know you can't heat uh, butter up but so much. Okay. Just let that butter get pretty much heated. I don't think I'll need all of this, but I think I might have put a little bit more olive oil than I anticipated. So in all, I've got about a fourth of a cup of oil in here to get these mushrooms started. I tried to pat them dry as much as I could because I really don't want a lot of juice in there. Okay, y'all, the mushrooms are just about there. That juice that was in them, it's just about down where I want. I want some, but not a lot. So what I'm going to do here is put them, put them right here in my dish and set them to the side, and then we'll get the um, spinach going. There's enough of uh, that seasoning in the bottom of the plant pan. Rather, I'm going to leave it right in there. In fact, there's even some... Uh, little bit of oil still in there. So we're going to leave the oil in there. Ooh, that's what we do. Pour, pour that oil there. Ooh, cool. I won't have to put any more oil. That was plenty from the shrooms, y'all. The shrooms is looking good. You know, uh, spinach makes its own juice. So we're just going to allow it. I got that skillet good and hot. I'll show those mushrooms. Let me go ahead and get these uh the spinach and the onions in there. Okay. This is probably two pounds, I'm sorry, not two pounds, but one pound of spinach. We're going to hit it with a little bit of uh, that garlic sea salt, just a little. It's not going to take a lot of seasoning to begin with. Spinach is just about like those mushrooms. It'll soak up every bit of flavor. Mm. Yum, yum. And I've got an onion off here to the side. Put just a little bit of same seasoning. I'm going to slice that onion. In fact, I've already sliced it. All I got to do is put it in there. Food chef did a good job today. That onion was already sliced. So all I got to do is just get it into a pan so it can go ahead and uh, start sauteing. Okay. Mmm, yummy, y'all. I think I'm going to need a little bit more oil in it, too. That wasn't quite enough. Another tablespoon of smart starter in there. And I'll pour a little bit more of olive oil in there to get it going. Make sure everything is well saturated. I'm excited about these uh, spinach. Now, I went out to Sam's Club, and they have this huge bag. A spinach. It's, it's, uh, it's, it didn't say it was baby spinach. It says regular spinach. But it looks like baby spinach. Small leaves of spinach. I love it. Y'all see how much spinach this is for her? I'm going to get a meat every real good time with spinach tonight. So Y'all know I love, love, love it. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize my camera was on. Y'all forgive this. Okay. Every once in a while, this thing happens. Okay, as you can see, um, the spinach is cooking right along. I apologize for all that movement. But anyway, the spinach is moving right along with this cooking. And it does not take uh, long to cook it. And you know as you're cooking it, see how much it shrivels down. So... It is just about shrunk down. I'm just going to let it saute there for a minute or two. I've sprinkled about a, a fourth of a teaspoon of um, just regular lemon pepper seasoning on there. And I put some, of course, I sliced the onions in there. Got that going in there. And I've got to put a dash of um, my marsala seasoning just a little bit. And then, of course, the same season that I put on to the mushrooms. And then we're going to heat that chicken over, or through, rather. And uh, we're going to have us a good old healthy meal here. It's going to be better than what I had anticipated. And I think I'm just going to make me a small salad with some um, shredded cabbage and some uh, salad greens. And just hit it with some balsamic vinaigrette and that's going to be my dinner pretty much i'm not going to do any bread tonight at all because i did uh i made yesterday i made those rolls and i did eat one of those rolls that i made so i'm not having bread today those mushrooms are yummy y'all they're the yummiest and of course you know the spinach is making its own juice and I think uh, Kareem will probably want, he likes those chicken, those grilled chicken sandwiches, those pan, that pan fried bread, just take it, fry that bread into a skillet with some butter and put that um, nice chicken on top and put lettuce and tomatoes. So he'll have him a whole meal on a sandwich. So the lettuce and tomatoes is going to be his um, vegetables for today. I think this uh, spinach is pretty done right now. Just letting as much juice cook out of it, and as that juice, is, uh, as those juices cook out of it, that flavor will also cook into the leaves of the spinach. Now, all I'm going to do off to the side here is go ahead and slice these tomatoes, and this meal is pretty much done. Uh, the only other thing I've got left to do for this video is. A black history fact you know I'm gonna get that in so thank y'all for tuning in and we're gonna go ahead and get a black history fact going so hang on and I'll be right back okay y'all I do believe that spinach is ready I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did with the mushroom put it over here into a bowl get my chicken heated up we're gonna get ready to plate this food and have us a feast so Spinach is ready and the mushrooms are ready. One thing I have left to do now is to get my chicken heated up. So I'll be right back. Yep, got it ready, got it ready, got it ready, y'all. It's about time for me to do a little cleanup. And those nice sauteed onions are there. So you know for me to have that much uh, spinach in that bowl, they had to be a lot of raw spinach because it takes a lot to make that much. Because you know spinach shrivels, so I know that's a good pound of spinach. I'm excited, y'all, so I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, all the food is ready. There is the sautéed spinach with the uh, onions. Of course, that's my chicken that I deboned, my rotisserie chicken from Sam's Club. Doesn't that look good? I just take it right off the bone. And I'll heat it up before I get ready to eat it. Of course, those are my mushrooms. I saute it with the onions and seasoned with uh, lemon pepper, garlic, 
and the marcella sauce and of course you know i got butter and olive oil in them now i'm going to conclude this part in the kitchen and go over to the next room and we're going to do a couple of black history facts i'm going to fix meal plate sit down relax and enjoy this short and sweet meal it's a nice healthy meal one that didn't take long at all to prepare but really really delicious so remember don't sleep on these uh rotisserie chickens now from sam's club because they are very 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 good and they're tasty beyond what you would believe i'm telling you 4.99 you can't beat it just cut it up take it off the bone and there it is and this is the same rotisserie chicken that i use too by the way for um chicken salad and uh you know for other dishes and of course you know it's very simple and easy to prepare good old sauteed spinach and mushrooms uh, I don't know too many people that do not like mushrooms so they're very very easy these are portobellos so here we go y'all I'm gonna run here into the dining room and get my black history facts ready for you okay so hang on for me okay y'all as I said I'm think I'm going to do a black history um, fact or two tonight but let's go ahead and end dinner right now um, I've got some things I got to get done before I go into my black history facts. So let's just suffice this to say to you all, thank you so, 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 so much for tuning in with me, uh, for my Wednesday evening meal for my spinach, my mushrooms and my chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and a little bit and sit down, relax and enjoy that meal. But until I do, I like just, I want to just come back and say to y'all, thank y'all for tuning in with me and all through our black history facts thank you so much and i'm hoping uh that you all will be able to put some things together and sort of give me some feedback on what you're doing so until i decide to cook again thank y'all for tuning in while i cook the meal uh and listen to me and stay tuned for our black history facts we love you guys so 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 much and remember keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down Love you guys. Toodles. Okay, guys, this is a brief black history fact or two that I'm going to be sharing with you. So here goes. Let's take a walk down memory lane with none other than the late, great Michael Jackson. He was such a talented, high-spirited young man from day one. He was a beautiful person to look at to know and just to watch his talent grow so we're just going to go through this book and just um reminisce on some of the things that he did of course this is uh, michael jackson i think he's probably 11 or 12 years old this book that i purchased it just has i told you i love beautiful beautiful pictures and this chronicles michael's life let's see i guess i should have went through the front michael jackson uh, the Man in the Mirror from 1958, which was when he was born, through 2009. Okay, so let's just go through this book. Uh, I kind of kept trying to keep the cover on it to keep it uh, protected, but I guess I can just go ahead and take the cover off now. But isn't that a beautiful book? bought this book back in uh, 2010, I think is probably when I found first found it. But we're just going to go down memory lane and just look at some pictures and just just talk about it just just uh love on him a little bit i love 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 him my kids grew up with him and he's he was not i'm not that that i think i'm maybe 12 years older than michael but nonetheless when he was out there singing my kids were enjoying him and so was i because i was still out there doing a couple of little things so like i say he was a beautiful person to look at a wonderful person to know and watch him uh as his talents grew through all those years and we miss him very 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 much beautiful young man uh my grandson dexter uh loves to sing dexter who is tanya's son she loved uh he loved uh michael jackson's music and sang a lot of his music in talent shows so here's michael jackson when he was with the jackson five and uh there's a let's see the jackson five Plus, there is one other little, a couple other little fellas there that are not Jackson 5. And he's not, he's not. And the rest of those are Jackson. Isn't he just adorable? But aren't these just some beautiful pictures? I just wanted to be able to share these nice pictures with you. I love pictures, y'all. I love pretty books. I love uh, 
things that are pleasant to look at, period. These, this book here just goes on and on and on about uh, the things that he did as a child. And you look and see how he was dressed. Uh, in the height of fashion, the Jackson 5 appeared on the same bill as many household names, including The Temptations, Jackie Wilson, Sam and Dave, especially Michael in particular would watch uh, the other singers, how they style themselves and how they perform. So he was a sharp dresser. I'm sure he had a lot to do with what he had on from time to time. Of course, that's a family portrait of the Jacksons. And, you know, Michael was the main attraction. I mean, he, you know, in every um, group or whatever, you, however you want to say it, there's usually it's always one person that's going to stand out more so than the others. And I'm sure that wasn't by design. It was just that God gave him those talents, but all of them blended together to create the Jackson 5. And as you see, it just goes on and on through here. I can remember him on the Ed Sullivan show. Um, what do you call it? Soul Train, all of that. I just remember all those days of my kids. I can remember. Now, what you have to remember, too, about the Jackson 5 is that, let's stand it up there like that, that's the entire family. They had a big, beautiful family. A big, big, beautiful family. I think it's just awesome how um, they have all these beautiful photos. I think one of these days, and I'm working on it, I'm working on a family tree to put together some of the photos of my children. You know, you don't have to be famous to put together a nice photo album. I think this is going to be a challenge. Let's, let's, put the, let's do a, a photo album, okay, and, and sort of share it with each other. Okay, the Jackson 5, of course, are performing on the UN, uh, on the United Kingdom's premiere uh, music show, Top of the Pops, in December 1972. So, of course, you know, they go way back. Because now think about this. Michael was the, ba the youngest boy, I believe, that was performing. Look at those clothes. Would love to have a set of those. Look at that tie. <laughs> he was sharper than sharp, y'all. And as you can see, uh, as time went on, he continued to be the star of the show in the way he looked. And, of course, we know how well he performed. Well, hey, no, Rick, you're back. Did you have fun? Let's know Rick just coming in. You know, family is so important, and pictures are even more important when you think about uh, keeping the legacy of a family going and keeping those memories going. Just beautiful people. Michael, his mom, and his dad. Michael and his brothers on the right over there. These pictures are just, just priceless. I am so excited that I purchased this book um, because, like I say, it just goes through and just shows them from day one uh, through the times when they got really, really popular and were touring all over the place. This shows um, he's right here, uh, of course, with his big, big afro. And Oh, look, those were the days when I had one of those kind of afros. These pictures just bring back so many memories for me. All those Motown days, we listened to all that music. I've got copies of most of their music. Uh, of course, that's Woody Allen with him. So this is nostalgia for me. And when my ch I look at it from when my children were coming up, how they loved it, how my husband loved the music. Uh, on my left right here, of course, that's Janet. I mean, and look how she rose to fame. Who else? Donna, Diana Ross in The Wiz. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so we know that uh, all these things that we see in this book are things that chronicle the life of Michael Jackson and the things that he loved and enjoyed as a, a child and then as a uh, young man. Okay. This young man had more talent than we could ever even think about. Um, okay. Uh, of course, it chronicles all the many relationships that he had, all the things that he went through, and some of the things that uh, he did outside of music. Okay. We won't be, that's, I know y'all recognize that young lady with him. Now, that's Donna Summer. She's one of my faves, too. Doc Michael had lots of friends. Everybody loved Michael. He, you know, like anybody else, you, people can fall on hard times emotionally, financially, and spiritually. And I think, you know, spiritually he did. 
And unfortunately, he's not with us today, but we still love Michael. There he is with Cher, one of my favorite people, one of my favorite entertainers. There he is, um, he and his brothers, Emmanuel, uh, what is Emmanuel's last name? I'm trying to, okay. Yeah, Emmanuel Lewis. Remember little Emmanuel Lewis? A uh, little child star during the time when Michael was out there very popular. This young lady here is still kicking, honey, and I mean, she is looking good. I tell you, Jane Fonda, you know what? She don't look too far off from that today. I mean, the girl looks good, and she's still acting. I believe uh, Jane Fonda is in her, probably has got to be in her mid-80s, I believe. There, of course, is the beautiful one and only Diana Ross. So these pictures here are just nostalgic. They just bring back so many memories. Uh, back in those days in the 60s and 70s when they were out there performing and on top of their game, uh, um, just peaked out with talent uh, in our African-American community. So if you get a chance to purchase this book, you know, it's I'm sure it's still in print uh, somewhere. Check it out. You may be purchasing online. Of course, that's the late, not late, but that's the great Quincy Jones who contributed greatly to Michael's uh, career and did many things for him uh, in front of the camera and behind the camera. Y'all know who that is. That's Liza. That was uh, one of Michael's real good friends, I'm told. Uh, so, you know, history has it. So Michael Jackson was just all that and a bag of chips or two and the soda to wash it down. He was just a man. He was just an all-around um, performer and individual. He's somebody that, you know, you think, boy, I would love to have known him, to have sat down and had a conversation with him, but you know how that goes. Anyway, I just wanted to come and share these clothes. I mean, the look at the fabric. I'm loving that black and white stripe. The man was just the... Oh, he was just on top of his game as far as performing, as far as his costuming, his dress, everything. So we just pay tribute to his contribution uh, to the pop world. Okay, I just wanted to just bring this, just sharing some of my uh, black history that I have sitting around here. Like I say, it is just uh, one of those things that uh, I have always done. I've always been a collector of African-American artifacts, books, and what have you. Um, there's another famous picture there with Michael and then-President Ronald Reagan and his wife, Miss Nancy Reagan. Let's see if I can get a close-up of that. I mean, he went places and did things based on his raw talent. Okay. And, of course, you know, one of his real... I'm having the time. I guess I need an assistant, but since I don't, we're going to make it through this book. Okay, of course, to my left there, there's a, a wax museum figure of him. They did pretty good uh, with that. I think they did anyway. Some people complained about it, but I think anybody who had talent to do something like that, hats off to you. You did a great job. Okay, and, of course, there's the late, great Miss Elizabeth Taylor, who I understand was a very good friend of Michael's. So, again, like I say, ooh, this is one of my favorite pictures right here uh, with Michael and Lionel Richie, that's Stevie Wonder, and there's Miss Dionne Warwick right there. Now, that picture, that is priceless to me. I tell you, I treasure this book. I treasure all these pictures in here, and I am so glad to be able to share them with you. So, listen, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Um... I'm going to end this one with a nice double photo of our Michael Jackson. We miss you. We love you. We enjoyed you while you were here. God bless his family still, his children, and we just thank God that we had the opportunity to be able to share in what he was capable of doing. So hats off to Michael Jackson, and until I find another Black History fact that I can share with you, thank you guys for tuning in to Luke. Remember, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down.